Hello, welcome to the gospel. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting message, faith content, and video that will help you to grow your spiritual life. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more new video updates. The human life is depraved. The human life is degenerate. The human life is broken and God understands it. And has provided another life. That every human being may transcend the ordinary human model life and come into the life and nature of God. But they know not, neither do they understand. The Bible says, So they walk on in darkness. It says, But I have said, Ye are gods. So he's given us life. We say it all the time. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever. Anybody. Who believes in him. Should not perish. Oh God. I would not I would understand that. That's the sovereign declaration of Almighty God. He says that whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. Did you understand the language? Is anybody a lawyer here? Do you understand what that means? It's not a promise. He didn't say that whosoever believes in him shall not perish. No, no, no. I want you to understand the difference. For God, so, this is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, he gave his only begotten son so that anybody who believes in him, should not perish. Wow. There was a flood. And it swept that little town. Or it swept all the people in that street. And some of them were born again. And it swept them along with them. It's not supposed to happen. That whosoever believes in him should not perish. There's a decree. There's a decree. A divine decree over your life. That what happens to everybody doesn't have, have to happen to you. That whosoever believes in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. Hallelujah. Oh, look at this. Isn't this wonderful? He's given us life. Let's read 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter... One, beginning with verse one. You've seen it? It says, Simon Peter, you would really love this. He says, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us. Say, I'm one of them. Through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ, grace and peace be multiplied unto you. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. But then he tells us how to have it multiplied. He says, Through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, grace and peace be multiplied through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Grace and peace can be multiplied. You see, grace and peace can be given to you and you can actually have it multiplied. That means abundance of grace. You can have, he says, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Oh, I wish I had time to talk about that. But look at verse 3. 
according as his divine power, not man's power, not our own ability. It says, according as his divine power hath given unto us. According as his divine power hath given unto us. Whew. Hath given unto us. That means he's done it. He's not trying to do it. Hath given unto us all things. <laughs> all things that pertain unto life in godliness. Through the knowledge of him that had called us to glory and virtue. Oh God. Oh God. These are what I call shouting scriptures. You know, I read this, and when I read things like this, I get up and I say, Dear Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God. Woo! I said, look at it. Lord Jesus, this is amazing. Grace and peace be multiplied through the epignosis of God. Absolute knowledge. Exact knowledge. Thank you for watching this video. God bless you, but don't forget to subscribe.